Hello children. I hope you all are fine and happily enjoying these days with video lessons which are going on TV. I am very glad to present another video session for the poem Courage. Stanza 3 and 4. Children, we have already seen stanza 1 and stanza 2 in the first session of the video lesson. Now, we will recall once again the previous class content. We will recall once again the previous class content. In those two stanzas, that is stanza 1 and stanza 2, we were clear about what is meant by courage. What is meant by courage and which is not courage. That is what is meant by courage and which is not belongs to courage is a message we learned from stanza 1 and 2 in the previous video lesson. Shall we recall few new words from the previous class which are important to retain in our mind. Those few words are instantaneous. What is that? Instantaneous. Instantaneous means immediate or done immediately. We have already learned in the first and second stanza. The meaning of instantaneous is immediate. The next word is flickered. Flickered means shown unsteadily. Flickered means shown unsteadily. Okay children. Next one is soul. Soul is nothing but spiritual feeling. Spiritual feeling. Soul is nothing but that is inner, inner that is spiritual feeling. Apt. Apt is appropriate. Exact. Apt is nothing but appropriate. Next one is strain. Strain means struggle. Strain means struggle. The another meaning is footstep. Strain means struggle or we can say it as footstep. Today in this session 2, we will understand clearly about the remaining idea of courage. We are going to clearly understand about the remaining idea of courage. Okay, before entering into the poem, in our book, they have given two courageous person in stanza near to stanza 3 and 4. In the first episode, we have seen that two courageous person. That is one is given near to the first stanza and second one is given near to the second stanza. Here in the today's session, in the stanza 3, in our book, we have got that Ants and Suki. The, what is that? Ants sang Suki. She was born in Myanmar. She was born in Myanmar. She is a Burmese politician and she was house arrested for many years. These points, why these peoples are given here is the courageous, they are, these peoples are courageous person. That's why in our book it is given, given near to our stanza. That is An San Suhi was born in Myanmar. She is a Burmesian politician and she was house arrested for many years. She was the first state councillor of Myanmar and leader of the National League for Democracy. She was the leader of the National League for Democracy. Okay, next what main point about Aung San Suu Kyi we are going to see is she has done all through her courage and also got Nobel Prize for 
fifties. She got Nobel Prize. That is, she was a Nobel Prize winner. She was the Nobel Prize winner for courage. That is a brave thing what she has done. Okay. Next one, we are going to see about Mahatma Gandhi. The fourth stanza of our poem is given about Mahatma Gandhi ji. He is the father of our nation. Who is the father of our nation? Who is the father of our nation? Yeah, Gandhi ji. Mahatma Gandhi ji is the father of our nation. Do you know children already? Yeah, in many subjects, in many lessons, in GK also, we have studied about Mahatma Gandhi ji. He is the father of our nation. Even in, the, in our Independence Day program also, we used to speak about our father of our nation. He was born on 2nd October 1869 at Bodhpandar in Gujarat. When did he born? He was, when did he was born? He was born on 2nd October 1869 at Borpandar in Gujarat. He followed. Who followed? Yeah, Mahatma Gandhi ji followed non-violence. Non-violence means? What do you mean by non-violence? Without fighting in a against way. While silently, in a peaceful way, opposing British government in a peaceful way without any, any weapons. That is called non-violence. He followed, who followed? Gandhi ji, Mahatma Gandhi ji followed non-violence, nationalist and political ethicist. Political ethicist, who? Mahatma Gandhi ji. He was an lawyer and lead the successful campaign for Indian independence from British rule. India's independence from British rule. Mahatma Gandhi ji was a lawyer and lead a successful campaign for India's independence from whom? From British rule. Very long back before our independence, Britishers ruled our country. So we got independence from Britishers only. Because of Gandhi ji and many other followers, we got freedom from Britishers. Okay, children? Okay. Next, he courageously, not violently, he courageously opposed British rulers in our country. Who courageously opposed? Yeah, Mahatma Gandhi ji courageously opposed British rulers in our country. British rulers in our country. Okay, children. Next, apart from the uh, courageous people which are given in the book, we are going to see two more courageous person in this session. One is Jansi Rani Lakshmi Boy. Have you heard about Ra Jansi Rani Lakshmi Boy? Yeah. In TV channel also, you would have seen a serial about Jansi Rani Lakshmi Boy. Do you know her? Children, have you seen that serial? Yeah, I think, I hope everyone has seen the program. Lakshmi boy was an Indian queen, Indian queen of the district, Jhansi. She belongs to Jhansi district, located at Uttar Pradesh. Which district she belongs to? She belongs to Jansi district, Jansi, located at Uttar Pradesh. She was an Indian queen. Okay, children. She was an courageous woman. Courageous, brave. Courageous woman. Courageous is more than a step of brave woman who fought against British rulers for freedom. To get freedom from the British government, she fought courageously. She left her child and she died. Okay, children. 
Next, we will see about Kiran Bedi. Is anybody heard about Kiran Bedi? I think we all in every day's news, we somehow hearing about Kiran Bedi. Anybody knows her? Yeah, Kiran Bedi is a first female Indian police officer and started her service at 1975. She is the first woman Indian police officer and started her service at 1975. Okay, children, is the first female Indian police officer? Yes, Kiran Bedi is the first female Indian police officer. Okay, children, Kiran Bedi is a retired Indian police officer, social activist. Okay, children, just courageous people, about courageous people we have seen. Now, the point of this poem we will see. What he says, when he born, from which country? which place what he says just we will once again recall because some have not been attended the first session so who have not attended the first session will comes to know about the poet of the poem okay children shall we see shall we see about the poet of this poem courage yeah okay we will see poet of this poem is edgar albert Guest. He lived from who? Edgar Albert Guest. Lived from 1981 to 1959. He was a British American poet. Born in British and became American poet. And was well known as people's poet. Why? He was called as people poet means he usually writes the style of the poem is about the people who find out the situation, who feels the situation in the day-to-day -day life. That's why he was known as poets, people's poet. Not only poet, a great poet, people's poet. Okay, children. He was popular in the first half of the 20th century. First half of the 20th century. Now, we are living in 21st century. Now we are living in 21st century, but he lived in half of the 20th century. Okay, children. His poem had an inspirational and optimistic view of everyday life. That is, his poems gives an inspiration. That is, thun to the inspiration to the people. How they lead their life. Life in so many situations. Okay, this is about Edgar Albert Guest is the poet of the poem children. Okay, who is the poet of the poem? Yeah, Edgar Albert Guest. Okay children, today we are going to learn a poem and name of the poem is Courage. What is the meaning of courage? Here, courage means the ability to do Things without fear in our life. Okay, children, we'll enter into the poem stanza 3 and 4 in today's session. Courage isn't a dazzling delight that flashes and passes away from sight. It's a slow, unwavering, imagined trait with the patience to work and the strength to wait. It's part of a man when his skies are blue. Here, skies are blue is an idiomatic expression. It's part of him when he has work to do. The brave man never is freed of it. He has it when there is no need of it. Once again, we will see the poem that is lines which is given in a book. Courage is a dazzling delight that flashes and passes away from sight. 
it's a slow unwavering imagine trait with the patience to work and the strength to wait it's part of a man when is skies are blue it's part of him when he has work to do the brave man never is freed of it he has it when there is no need of it we will see the meaning of these lines courage is not an extremely bright light which shines brightly which flashes and passes away from our eyesight courage is not an extremely bright light which flashes and passes away from our eyesight it is a slow something over firmly established and hard to change the characteristics with a patience patience means purumai patience to work and with physical strength we should be patience but our strength will be more with our physical strength we should be in a patient stage here skies are blue is an idiomatic expression which we say courage takes part in all the time in all his work it takes part in all the time in all his works that is one's work when we do a work in that work courage should take part without courage that is inborn quality the work will not complete in a success manner so courage takes part in all the time in all his work the brave man never accepts slavery in any situation a brave man who has got braveness will not be slavery in any situations he is always with inborn character of braveness willingness helping tendency and so on so these are the characters of courageous person which our poet explains us very neatly okay the important words which are given in the glossary part we will see that is dazzling dazzling is nothing but extremely bright extremely bright extremely bright means dazzling okay next one unweaving unweaving means separate unweaving means separate the third one is ingrained ingrained means nothing but firmly fixed ingrained means firmly fixed next one is patience patience means tolerate delay that is we have to tolerate the things which is happening without courage so courage means we should have patience within him within oneself okay next one is freed freed means slavery freed means slavery okay children we all understand the glossary in the stanza 3 that is dazzling it means extremely bright unweaving separate ingrained firmly fixed patience tolerate delay freed slavery okay children we will see next stanza that is fourth stanza of the poem courage was never designed for show it isn't a thing that can come and go courage isn't a thing that can and go it's written in victory and defeat and every trial a man may meet it is written in it means it says courage courage written in each one's victory and each one's defeat and every trial a man may meet each and every action the man meets 
there the courage should be it's part of his hearts his days and his years back of his smiles and behind the tears behind his tears courage is more than a daring deed it's the breath of life and the strong man's creed once again i will recite the poem courage was never designed for show it isn't a thing that can come and go it's written in victory and defeat and every trial a man may meet it's part of his scars his days his years back of his smiles and behind his tears courage is more than a daring deed it's the breath of life and a strong man's creed okay children now we will see the poem's explanation what the poet says in these lines courage was not planned it is a inborn no so it will not be planned one to show or prove others which is not a thing that comes and goes when it needed courage was not planned it is a inborn character of a person so it was not planned one courage is written or placed in success of a man or defeat each person's success courage is present if there is a courage within his heart so the thing will be lead to a successful way oh, courage is written or placed in success of a man or a defeat at all the times of meeting courage is present in his every moment of action each and every moment of action should have courage when we have courage within us so the thing what we are doing will lead to a exact point courage is more than a bold action which be taken with our life and is religious belief okay children we will see the glossary words which is given in the stanza 4 that is designed designed is nothing but planned we can say that we will use to say that it is a designed sari designed sari means designed suit designed worked material designed means it is well planned and stitched and done some extra works we can say so a designed means planned already okay nothing but designed is planned victory victory is nothing but success victory is nothing but success next one is defeat defeat is conquer defeat means conquer okay next one is the next one is creed creed means faith once again we will see the point the important words decide this plant victory success defeat conquer creed faith okay children this is there is a few rhyming words which is given in the poem the rhyming words are like sight what is that like sight we have seen the stanzas in that stanzas we heard that the rhyming words the rhyming words which are there is light sight second one is try wait second one is try wait the third one is free need free need okay next one is defeat meet defeat meet the fourth one is years tears years tears the last one is deed a creed deed or creed the rhyming words are light side try wait free need defeat meet years tears deep creed okay children we will see the whole summary of the poem that is stanza 3 and 4 summary of this stanza both the stanzas are courage is a strength that helps you to stand up when it is easy to fall down and lose hope courage is a decide to maintain our integrity when we are 
tempted to choose the other way. It is a power to move in victory and defeat. Which one is power to move in victory and defeat? Yeah, courage. Courage is a power to move in victory and defeat. For victory also courage is needed. For defeat also courage is needed. Next point is courage is long lasting. It is an inborn quality and always remains in one's breath. It remains in one's breath. So, so far we have seen about the uh, meaning and the poem recitation of stanza 3 and 4. Okay, I am going to ask question. You people have to say the answers. Give an example for dazzling light. Yeah, very good, very good. The flash of lighting at night is an example for dazzling light. The flash of lighting at night is an example for dazzling light. Okay, very good children. Okay, next you man, what is the breath of life? Yeah, you understood the poem. Courage is the breath of poem. Very good. Clap him. Yeah. Next question. Characteristics of the courageous man. Patience, strength are the characteristics of a courageous man. What are the characteristics of the courageous man? Repeat once again. Yeah. Patience and strength are the characteristic of a courageous man. What does tears mean children? Tears means sorrowful incidents which make us cry. Many of our students find out the situation no. Tears means sorrowful incidents which make us cry. I would like to conclude this session with a quote. Where there is a love, there is a life. Where there is a love, there is a life. The future depends on what we do in the present. To lead a happy life, we should show love and affection to others. Then we get love in turns. We show love and affection to others, we get love in turns. Thank you children. Thank you once again.